Fox News' Dave Spencer joining us live from the memorial where loved ones gather every year, Dave, to remember. Yeah, each year they gather right here, right in front of this memorial, this granite memorial that's located just off Middle Belt Road and the entrance to 94. We're talking about the families of those victims of that plane crash. They're here for two simple reasons, to remember and to honor. A list of names, 154 to be exact. Who perished August 16th, 1987 at 846 p.m. when the Northwest Flight 255 crashed seconds after takeoff and the one four-year-old child who survived the plane crash cecilia sheehan now cecilia crocker since 1994 when this memorial was installed the family of those crash victims have been coming here even when it hasn't been easy you know they say uh, time heals it doesn't heal you cope with life differently yeah. when something like this happens joanne pontance visits each year from syracuse new york she lost five family members, her brother Bill. He was 36, his wife Kathy, she was 32, and little Billy, he was five, mm. and Hillary, she's three, and the baby was four months old. She's far from alone. We always say you don't get over it, you get through it, and this is the way we get through it. So we feel the best way is to continue to honor, honor and remember them, honor them because they lived and remember them because they're no longer with us. There are people here from California, Minnesota, Arizona, and all over the state. For a few hours each August 16th, they are with family. 36 years later, it's not a place of sadness. We feel it's a place of peace. In more ways than one. We feel this is also sacred ground. So those of us who are religious, that I am, we feel that this is holy ground, so we treat it as such. And for those who may have no connection at all to the crash, now 36 years old, there are still lessons to be taken away. Cherish your loved ones because you never know when you're going to see them again. And the organizers tell me as long as there are families that are willing to make the trek out here each August 16th, that this tradition will continue. Reporting live in Romulus tonight, Dave Spencer on The Edge.